This is Oak Apple, a 65 foot traditional narrowboat built by Steve Lambon and fitted out by Barnow in 2010. She was the winner of the Best in Show at Crick in 2010. She's called Oak Apple because the show on that day was the 29th of May. And 29th of May is Oak Apple Day, which celebrates the day in 1660 when Charles II retook the throne and the English monarchy was restored. For for those of you who believe in the English monarchy, hurrah for that. She's in amazing condition. She's a lovely boat. She was blacked in April 2016, new anos. She has a wonderful gardener engine in her, 2LW. That's been serviced religiously. And as we go on her, you'll see why she was best in show. She's absolutely stunning. 300 watts of solar panels on the roof. And it's the first boat I've seen with as many chimneys on as Battersea Power Station. Four. Very good condition cratch cover. The, she's a gas-free boat. You'll see the stove when we go in, the diesel heritage stove. So that forward locker in that beautiful bow there is storage. And lots of it. And we go the well deck four feet, one inch long, storage either side. <clears throat> the water tank, it's about 540 litres under there. And then we go, she's absolutely beautiful. Fitted out an oak. And all the cupboards here have pippy oak veneer inlays in. You can see them there. Really lovely. Barnell do such a nice job with this. There's the television, that's 24 inch. Television, it's got surround sound. You'll see the speakers as we go around. And there's the DVD and other bits of visual and audio equipment cupboard there. The stove's a Lockgate diesel stove that heats the hot water as well as the diesel range and the immersion on board. There's one of the lovely radiators. Two captain's chairs, and here's the very unusual dinette. Really lovely. Wine rack under. A couple of extra chairs, and there is a, a freestanding drop leaf table on board. You could certainly seat four as it is, and, and six with comfort. The saloon is uh, 14 feet long with that dinette. And here we go into the galley. Here's the amazing heritage diesel range storage here on the starboard side the worktop to granite draw underneath and a cupboard under here I'm going to open and for you non opening cupboard lovers if I hadn't opened this one you wouldn't have seen the dishwasher inside so there we are that's a Bosch dishwasher And you wouldn't have seen that frying pan either. But there we are. There's a microwave. And here is the shoreline fridge and freezer. Separate units. Very good size. The washing machine is opposite. That's an Indesit 1400 with a good size cupboard over. On the port side, there's a cupboard here next to the Belfast sink with some lovely taps. And there's the stove. That does the central heating, the hot water, the towel rail. Absolutely beautiful bit of kit. And it's a double oven. One up here, one down there. And on the left of it are the sort of guts of it really, they're the controls and the working parts underneath. Beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. The whole boat's a bit of a blast from the past and the taste of the new. Into the bathroom we go and it is a bathroom, not a shower room. I'm trying to avoid the full length mirror next to the bath there and I, I do rather well I think. There we go. Towel rail in here, lovely ceramic sink, and the loo is quite discreetly concealed behind the door here. That's a pump out system. 
250-litre holding tank. I say it's a blast from the past. She has a vintage gardener in her. She's traditional, yet she has a bow thruster, a stern cabin or back cabin, very traditional, but she's modernised. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to the bedroom. The bed itself is six foot four long by four feet wide. Some lovely cupboards over with these twangy supports. You open them, they straighten up, and you just push them and they shut. Lots of storage here. Massive double wardrobe that goes all the way to the side of the boat. And some lovely cupboards over the bed. The woodwork is all first class, it has to be said. Barn Owl do such a nice job. There's another, another lovely radiator in here. Reading lights over the bed. Into the engine room, everything in here is absolutely spotless. The gardener dates back to the early 1950s. She was fully refurbished in about 2010, I think, prior to her being sold. Electric start. The battery banks in here. 510 amp hour domestics. There's a one one starter battery. There's obviously a starter battery, a uh, bow thruster battery rather. And here is the inverter. That's a three kilowatt Vetus Combi inverter stroke charger. Very easy accessible isolation switches for the batteries. There is a generator on board. It doesn't work. The owners have never needed it, never fixed it, but it is there and could be fixed if that's what you want. It's a four kilowatt Vetus gen set, but it doesn't work and that has been declared. Here's the back cabin, absolutely stunning, I think. It's very traditional in terms of layout and what it provides. It has everything, the crumb drawer, the ticket drawer, the epping range, but it's cream and it works, I think. Here's the cross bed, that drops down, four foot six inches wide and full width of the boat. Here's the drop down table with the rows and castles, artwork in here, some of it's by Dave Moore, there we go. So there is none of the scumbling that you often see in these rooms. Scumbling I love, this I love. Traditionalists may scoff. I don't, I don't know, I, I think it really works. And here's a stove. LED lighting throughout. There's a galvanic isolator. I've mentioned the solar panels. Lots of equipment on board, all ropes, fenders, poles, hooks, planks. There's an anchor and chain. It goes on and there's the view of Battersea Power Station. The speed wheel, the push-pull gear change. Let's have another walk back through. She's a lovely boat. Two side hatches in here. I'm sure you saw them. I don't think I mentioned them. Beautiful. Feels quite modern, but very tastefully done. Whether it's your boat or not, I think it's hard to 
disagree that she's stunning. She sold our scenes so everything you see goes with the boat. Need to get off now. Reluctantly. For a further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.